Queen of Bastard, Nolan Winking, also known as Nolan the Ninja. I hope you're having a great day and training will be hard after Worlds. And speaking of Worlds, right after then, we flew back home to our house in Missouri, packed up and moved out to North Carolina. And that's why I am right now. And one of the first things we considered was where am I going to train? Like, where's my, where's my new ATA school? And we started looking on the school finder, and we found one out here in the Raleigh area. And now my new instructor is Master Beto under Chief Master Wegman. And everything is changing. It is so crazy. Like, my school, my city, my house, even my time zone. So... Um, one thing that's not changing is my ATA family, because if you think about it, all those people that you see online and social media or in person at big events and tournaments, you probably don't live very close to them, right? So the fact that ATA is everywhere and wherever you go, you'll still be connected with one part of your ATA family. And it's really nice that I get to expand and meet new people in the ETA wherever I'm at. And it's so awesome! Tonight is a big night because it is my first official Taekwondo class at my new ATA school, Vision Martial Arts with Master Beto. And I'm really excited. I'm also a little nervous, you know, but I think I'm going to meet a lot of new friends and... Um, it's just going to be crazy, crazy, and I'll take you guys along for, for the ride. So, let's go, and let's check it out. Oh, yeah! So, I'm here in the car on my way to my very first class at Vision Martial Arts, my new ATA school, and I'm really excited. Um, I'm also just, it feels so similar yet so different, like I'm still going to class, but it's not at my old school, so it's just, it's just, it's really weird. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna really like it there, um, and we already, and we're really lucky because we already got to meet Master Beto and Mrs. Beto and Chief Master Wegman at Worlds, and I even got to meet a few of the students who go there, so I already know a few people, and it is super exciting and I'll see you there so I'm here at Vision Martial Arts and I got to meet with Master Beto last week but this is my first official class here so I am really excited and let's go in done with class and it was awesome it was really fun I learned on a lot of new drills and I really liked it so bonus they have a frozen yogurt shop right next door so I would say that it's a pretty good day huh oh yeah now let's eat hi everyone 
just to give you guys an update, I've been here at my new school for a few months now, and I just had my first testing here, and now I'm a black belt recommended, and it's so exciting, and it's been such a great experience switching schools, and it's been smo so smooth thanks to Senior Master Battle and Mrs. Battle. They are amazing instructors, and it's just so crazy that our ATA family stay the same, even when we're in a different area. And I really feel at home here, so if you're switching schools and you're nervous, don't be because it will turn out great and you will feel just like you're at home, even in an entirely new area because of that ATA family. It's a good start for Chung Chung too. It's a tough form. So this time what we're gonna practice now go. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go across the floor and every time we step, we're gonna add another block. So I'm gonna reach this way and block. Yep, and I'm gonna reach. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, get it five more. See how far you can pull. This is the really important arm because this arm, when you do that jump around here, do you reach? Yeah, have some power behind you. Do that again. Step and cut upwards, and then eight is straight down, and nine is stash. Nice job. Good. Right across your nose. And then put it back away. Curl it right across my nose. Uh -huh. There. If you have moved in the past or are moving right now, you know what it's like and you know that change is really good, but it's also really scary and nerve wracking. But it'll all turn out great in the end and it'll all be okay. So. I hope that you are still training hard and have a great rest of your week, your month, your year, everything! Bye! Can't wait to see you soon. So, how was the transition for you guys? I thought it went really well. I agree. It was a really great experience and it was a lot more seamless than we had anticipated, really. Um, it came at different phases though. It was very emotional at the beginning to leave our original ATA school and really the only Taekwondo school that we had ever known. Uh, Nolan started with Legends Martial Arts and Mr. Brandon Johnson when he was in preschool. He had just turned five years old and you know was so little and figuring so much out, trying to find a sport that he liked and uh, Brandon Johnson really took Nolan under his wing and Nolan just looked up to him so much and you know you wanted to do XMA because of him and John Fong and you still have goals of being a world champ someday because you just admire him so much and you know yeah you've always just wanted to be just like him just like his mini me absolutely and uh, they had spent so much time together and had such a bond, so to leave them was really heartbreaking for us, and uh, it was it was just really emotional and and sad, honestly. Uh, cause they had trained together every single Friday for four years, and they had a private lesson, and we never missed a Friday unless you know we were both traveling for a tournament or something major was going on, and they just spent so much time together, and um, even your last color belt testing, Nolan, hit uh, his final color belt testing at Legends, Brandon had gifted Nolan Brandon's first degree black belt. And it was just, I get emotional even just thinking about it now because it was just such a, a meaningful, special gift that really spoke volumes of the, the bond that they, they have and still have. Um, cause you still Zoom with Brandon and, and train with your XMA with him, but it was really hard to leave and um, yeah. very it, kind of nerve wracking and scared because you're going into the unknown. You don't know what to expect. But um, the, we, when we, we, we chose to move and sure. when we were making the decision, one of our top priorities really was that about Nolan's ATA training because he wanted to continue training and we know, knew we needed to find another ATA school and um, it we was, had no idea what that was going to look like. Uh, not at all. And it, it was really very easy. We just went on to atamartialarts.com and they have a, 
a school locator there and we put in Raleigh, North Carolina and up pop six different schools. And it really gives you a lot of information. It, it tells you the school owner, the school's location, their address, phone number, website. So it, it gave us all these details. And right away we saw Chief Master Wegman was the school owner and we never actually met him in person. Mm -hmm before uh, but we knew we were familiar with who he was we, we knew the name that was. we had heard absolutely and we um we had we had saw him before at nationals and worlds and in those large tournaments but we just never had a conversation with him um, but that's really the the great thing about ata is it's a huge you know international organization but really the ata family is one close-knit group so when we started telling people that we were moving they were more than eager to, to help us. And right, and everyone in ATA has an instructor. So Nolan has an instructor, his instructor has an instructor, and it goes all the way up the ranks. So, and, and that just, as people move across the country, they keep their instructors sometimes, and they that kind of builds a web. So as we started talking to people, they knew somebody who knew or was once instructed by uh, Chief Master Wegman and so it's kind of it's this web and it builds that family feeling mm -hmm. and everyone's kind of interconnected so uh, that's kind of how we you know we learn more about who he was and kind of got introduced to him that way. Yes and Nolan does Zoom private lessons with Senior Master Blomquist and um, I don't even know if Senior Master Blomquist knows this but He's the first person that found out we were moving, um, other than our immediate family, because Nolan was on a Zoom with him at our, at our old house in his old training room, and we used to have things up on the wall, like here, and we had taken all of that down to get our house, you know, our house was getting ready to go on the market, and it had only been like a matter of days since he had Zoomed with him, and then he hopped on a Zoom with Senior Master Bonquest, and everything was gone and down, and he's like, what's going on? <laughs> and are you guys redecorating? <laughs> Um, and you know, we're like, actually we're moving. And when we told him where we were moving, he's, he knew Chief Master Wegman, Senior Master Wegman, Senior Master Beto, Mrs. Beto. He had been to their school, trained with them. So it, it just kind of yeah. goes back to that being that one big family. He mm -hmm. hopped on the phone call right away with Chief Master Wegman and they had a conversation about it. You know, of course, Mr. Brandon Johnson got on a phone call and talked to Senior Master Beto. And they just, the instructors do such a great job of, of seamlessly handling that transition for you. It was probably one of the simplest parts of our move right. um, yeah. out of everything that had to be transitioned. So you know, everything that you have on your My ATA online account, you know, because we were concerned about that because there's the history of the programs Nolan's been in, his ranks, the dates on everything, um, points as far as tournaments go, if you do competitions. And it's all just handled at the instructor level. They transfer it from one school to the other and just it, it stays, all stays the same. And it yeah. becomes a really, really simple where you don't have to, to manage any of that. Or, it was very smooth. It was the easiest part. It, yeah. it definitely was. And a unique thing about the timing of our move, um, it was probably a, extremely hectic from a move standpoint because four days after we got home from Worlds in Phoenix, the moving van was coming, um, which was pretty chaotic. But the nice thing about that was being at Worlds right before our move, we actually got to meet Chief Master Wegman, Senior Master Wegman, Senior Master Beto, Mrs. Beto. We got to see them for several days and talk to them and build a relationship with them. It really kind of put us at ease yeah. It put Nolan at ease a lot because he got to visualize, you know, what his new school was going to be like, get a feel for them and meet them and it talk to them. took away a lot of that unknown. It absolutely did. Yeah. It really made that transition um, really smooth to just be able to know who the instructor is before you even show up and, and walk in the door. And then once we did get there and, you know, we were able to meet with Senior Master Beto. He gave us a tour, showed us around, told us about, you know, their program, their structure, how they do things. Because uh, so much of it is very, very different because it's a different, uh, you know, school owner. It's a different chief instructor. They, they do things, you know, differently. But so much of it is just very familiar and like you feel at home walking in the door because it's, it's ATA. It's the same. It's the yeah. same forms. It's the same oath. It's the same. You know, uh, it, it, a lot of it is so so similar. Um, and the 
you know, Senior Master Beto and Mrs. Beto were so welcoming to us. They really just welcomed us with open arms. They put us um, at ease. They they made it so easy for us to transition and feel a part of the group and a part of the team. And even walking in the door as complete strangers, there were, um, you know, other students that came up to you and asked you, you know, your name and you guys got to, to meet and within a few classes, you felt like you were part of the team and had friends there. Um, another unique thing is, you know, Senior Master Beto, he had moved himself when, when right. he was younger and had been at different ATA schools, different ATA instructors. So he really got where we were coming from and, and the, you know, the, the bittersweet, the, you know, transition and, and all that, that comes with that. So he's he just really, been there. He's done that. He made you feel yeah. more at ease, right? Right. Yes. Yes, definitely. And it was, it was just such a great, um, process. It was far easier than we had ever anticipated. And it had such a positive impact on us because we were really nervous about what we were going to lose and give up. And really in the end, our ATA family only grew. And you know, now Nolan still gets to Zoom with Mr. Brandon Johnson and Senior Master Blomquist, but he gets to train with you know Senior Master Beto and um, you're a part of the legacy program now and yeah. you get to train with Chief Master Wegman. And so it, it's only really kind of grown and compounded right. what our ATA family right. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been great. I... How it's about been, you? It's been an amazing experience. After my first few classes, I already knew a bunch of people and I felt like I truly belonged there. I didn't feel like an outsider anymore. And that's all we could hope for, really. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.